Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I like to start this video by saying I was not supposed to already have this sketch done. I wanted to do that on camera and it wasn't already done. I recorded almost three hours of this sketch, but it wasn't going well at all and I got extremely frustrated. So I stopped recording and finished the sketch off camera. Sketching has been so tough for me lately. But I feel like I've been saying that like my whole drawing career. Sketching is always hard. Well, let's just address the title of this video. I do hate this drawing, I really do. It was a struggle throughout this whole process. By the end of recording, I was pretty happy with it. But a couple hours later, looking at the drawing, it just, it was terrible. The proportions are really bad and oh my gosh their necks all of their necks are so wrong i was confused on so many things when it came to my ocs i couldn't choose an expression for sear everything looked wrong his hair frustrates me because i don't know how i want it to look originally i had it to where he wore a beanie like 90 percent of the time whether it was warm or cold outside but I don't think I want that anymore. So I don't really know what to do with it yet. Emery's hair was easy. Jace's hair wasn't too difficult. Eli's hair was a struggle. It's been over a year since I've even drawn him. And that's crazy because he's Sears best friend. He's way more important to the story than Jace and Emery combined. His hair just looks really funny in this. And that's because I don't know how to draw ponytails. It looks so weird, but it's the best I could do. Doing this drawing really drilled in the fact that I need to draw my characters more. I went about this drawing differently than I usually do. I wanted a more simple and cartoonish style because I didn't want to spend too much time on it. And I thought it would be easier. I needed this to be done as soon as possible, so after a certain point, I just stopped flipping the canvas. I didn't want to see any of the mistakes I was making because it was going to drive me crazy. I knew a lot of things looked wrong, but I didn't want to fix them, therefore I avoided seeing them. In any other situation, I would have scrapped this video and deleted the drawing altogether. But I needed this drawing for my giveaway. I'm hosting a giveaway on my Instagram where one of my followers can win a drawing commission from me. I'm doing this giveaway to celebrate reaching 3,000 followers on there. And if you want to join, all you have to do is follow me there. Pick one of these four OCs and comment an assumption about them based on their appearance. The assumption doesn't have to be correct to win. The winner will be randomly selected anyway. The giveaway is going to go until July 28th. So depending on when you see this, there's still plenty of time. It's so fun reading all the assumptions you guys are coming up with. I wish I could comment and reply to all of them, but I can't do that on the post, on my giveaway post. I don't comment. Why well, don't reply to comments on there because it'll affect the drawing at the end of the contest. So even though I want to comment, I can't. So I want to do that now on this video. So the rest of the video will be me reading off the comments and saying if they're right or not. Hopefully I have enough to fill the rest of the time that I have. The first assumption is Emery seems like they're really into baking sweets. And I don't know if I should say this one is wrong or right, but I guess it would be wrong because he loves to eat sweets, but I don't think he really bakes them himself. So I guess I'll say that one's wrong. Emery loves to eat sweets, but he does not bake them. The next one is I think Emery loves to get piercings, even though he is scared of needles. And I would say that one is correct. 
pretty much every piercing he gets, he's like coerced into doing it. And he doesn't really look when they're getting done. So I would say that's correct. He likes piercings, but he hates the process of getting them. Third assumption is Seer looks like he would rather chill all day than to interact with people, which is true. Yeah, he would rather just chill at home rather than hanging out with other people. That excludes his son, of course. He would spend every second with his son if he could, but anyone else, he'd rather not really be around. Okay. Jace looks like he can be a psychopath and planning your kidnapping and he doesn't even realize it. I would say this one's half correct because he definitely would plan your kidnapping in his head, but he most definitely realizes it. He realizes it and it doesn't bother him at all. The next one says, I think Jace may seem like the type to be cold and mean, but he is a softie at heart. Um, that's wrong. <laughs> He's, he is cold and mean. He's just cold and mean unless he feels like he has a use for you. He is capable of being soft for some people, but is he a softie at heart? No. Is he extremely insecure? Yes. So he's sensitive, but not in a way that's towards other people. The next assumption is Seer looks like he likes to talk about random stuff for hours on end and ends up talking about a completely different topic than what they started with. Um, that's wrong. He would, I can't even imagine him doing that. He's a very reserved person and he wouldn't just come out and talk to people, especially to that extent without being, I guess, prompted to, but even if he was prompted to, I don't think he would. Maybe once he starts to open up a little bit more and maybe have some more character development, that could happen. But we'll see. Elios looks like everyone loves him, but he's actually super romantic and only ever looks at one person he loves. Very much romantic manhwa male lead vibes. Um, uh, I kind of want to disagree. I say later on in the story, he's more like that, but at the beginning and middle, he's pretty much kind of like a playboy. It's not on purpose, but he has commitment issues. So he doesn't really like to commit to one person. It freaks him out. So I guess I could kind of say this is wrong for now. Next is Emery again. Emery looks like he practices thirst trap photos in the bathroom mirror, but never sends them. <laughs> I can't really see him doing that, but at the same time, I kind of could, but I would say that's wrong. He wouldn't do that, no. This one is for Jace. Jace looks like a boy I'd say is misunderstood and that I can fix him, but we all know he's probably just going to make me worse. I'm totally not projecting or anything. Yeah, I would say this one is correct. He definitely will make you worse and he will try to appeal to your sympathy towards him to give him a chance but he's just not a good person so I would say this one is correct. Jace looks like he get mad over a video game and rage quit and all I'm gonna say to this one is yes. Elios would ask you for a hair tie and do this really cute thing where his hands are busy collecting hair and the hair tie is in his mouth. Yes 100%. Emery seems like the parent friend or the therapist friend to me. Yes he is. Yeah, definitely. All of his friends go to him for advice and for comfort, so yeah. Jace looks like they have a trauma-filled past and are now one of the kindest hearted people around, even if they don't come off that way at first. Um, wrong. Trauma-filled past, yes, but he's still a terrible person. He let that trauma take him down a, a worse road. Everyone have such high hopes for Jace. This one says, Jace looks like the type that he acts tough on the outside to everyone, but is probably a big softy with a sensitive side that has a bunch of stuffed animals as his comfort item and only shows it to those he feel, truly feels comfortable with. Incorrect. He is not a softy. He is a selfish boy. 
And this will be the last one since I've ran out of time. But this one says, I think Jace is the type to use 5-in-1 body wash. And I'll just go ahead and say yes to that one. So, but yeah, that's all I have time to read right now. This was fun. I want to do this again. Hopefully I'll get the opportunity to. And if you want to join the giveaway, please go to my Instagram. Okay, that's it for this one.